This is the Carve King by Millwright CNC. This was my first hobby CNC machine, and I just wanted to share my experiences and a few projects I was able to create with it in case uh, you're interested in, in this machine. As this was my first CNC machine, uh, I had no idea the amount of sawdust it was going to make. Uh, so right away I built an enclosure for it to try to contain the mess. After using the machine for about a year with the DeWalt router, um, I, I changed it out for a uh, 400 watt brushless spindle. Um, I don't know if it was an upgrade or a downgrade, but I wanted uh, more accuracy and wasn't that concerned about power um, as I was trying to use the Carve King to make um, PCB boards. Uh, I'll talk about that project a little bit later. When I bought the Carve King, I was also researching some other hobby machines such as the Shapeoko and the X-Carve. And, um, you know, on, on paper, uh, the Carve King uh, had lead screws instead of belts on the X and Y axis and was substantially cheaper. Uh, so that's why I ended up going with this machine. And I think it was a good choice. Let me show you some projects and how the machine performed during them. Uh, at the time, we had a, a newborn baby along the way, and as part of nesting, my wife requested uh, making a baby mobile for his room. Um, so I modeled up these uh, animals in Fusion 360 and cut them out of some half-inch pine boards. These were cut out using an eighth-inch down cut bit. And uh, looking back at this video, I think my, my cut speeds were pretty aggressive, but um, they all cut out successful, so awesome. cross members for the baby mobile that supported the animals um, I cut that out of a thicker I believe it was a 2x8 or 2x10 um, that's an inch and a half thick and uh, I used a quarter inch down cut bit I believe and uh, yeah no, no problems cutting through that Here are the finished pieces ready for assembly. And here's the completed project. So as soon as I finished that one, my wife requested uh, a second one with polar bear themes for her soon to be godson. With my wife now happy, I can uh, move on to show you a personal project. Uh, I've been developing this uh, badminton shuttlecock launcher machine for a couple years, and I needed to cut out some uh, quarter-inch MDF panels for um, some gears. Uh, previously, I'd been using 3D printed parts, but uh, it was just going to be much faster to do it this way. This 
was a project of making badminton racket stands uh, to be placed by the courts. Um, on this project, I used actually two CNC machines. I used a large format machine called the Lowrider 2 to cut out all the pieces, and then I removed uh, the router from my Carve King and added on a diode laser attachment, and I used the laser to engrave the court numbers onto the front of the stands. Here you can see both machines running at the same time. The diode laser is much slower than a CO2 laser, but uh, yeah, if you have the time, it will get the job done. This project was for another CNC machine I had at the time called the Work Bee, and I was trying to add some rigidity to the aluminum extrusions by adding linear rails. And I needed to create a couple aluminum plates to, to mount the Z-axis to the new rails. Um, I was using uh, a quarter inch aluminum plate, and um, yeah, I didn't. I wasn't sure how the Carve King was going to handle this, but uh, I took it slow and took conservative cuts, and yeah, it cut all the plates out great. I cut out all the holes first so that I could uh, put some screws through them to hold the piece down. Uh, that way I didn't have to use tabs and have to clean them up at the end. I was able to just cut the whole perimeter out. And here's the second part that I needed to cut out. You can see the two plates uh, now attached to the linear rail and the ball screw. This project is a, a prototype of a machine I've been working on for a while. Uh, its purpose is to be a footwork trainer for badminton. And uh, I, I plan on doing a video series, I think in the future, about it uh, to show how I went through the design process. And I used 3D printing, uh, CNC machines, and a CO2 laser cutter to make all the different parts for it. Um, the part I'm going to show you here is for doing the PCB uh, prototype boards. I used the Carve King um, to cut the designs out of some copper plates and uh, he here you can see the machine doing that. Uh, this was at the point where I decided to swap out the DeWalt router with a brushless spindle. Uh, I read that it uh, has more bearings in it, so it was able to uh, cut more accurately. And uh, while cutting these thin traces, uh, accuracy uh, is what I really needed. Well, I also found out that it was much quieter, uh, so that was a nice bonus. Here's the drilling operation uh, at 400% speed. So there you go, that's a sampling of my experience with the machine. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, for me, it was an excellent value for the price point. Uh, it was capable of, of doing uh, everything I threw at it. Um, I, was, I was impressed that I was able to cut, um, you know, thick one and a half inch wood uh, and quarter inch aluminum. Uh, another thing I, I found nice about the machine is uh, on Millwright's website, they have a uh, calculator for cut speeds and feeds. And, you know, as this is an entry level machine, I found that really useful when setting up my files uh, to get that dialed in right. 
Uh, the only really negative thing I had about it was uh, I found that the assembly instructions that came with it uh, weren't always the clearest, and, and I had a couple hiccups setting it up, but uh, it wasn't that bad. And it's been a while. Hopefully they've updated them since then. So I had the machine for about two years, and uh, I used it till right at the very end. Uh, I ended up finally getting rid of it um, just because uh, uh, I bought more of an industrial uh, style machine. Uh, over the past couple of years, I've went through about five different CNC machines, uh, just having a lot of fun with it. Okay, thanks for watching.